Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Abraham Lincoln was a role model for every president since his time, and also for each of us. Our 16th president, Lincoln, saved our union and took steps to free those who were enslaved, and all in the face of ongoing personal challenges and tragedy. From his simple roots in Kentucky and Indiana, it is our own Illinois that is the most identifiable with this greatest of all presidents. He began as a young lawyer and member of the state legislature, and then embarked on a remarkable journey to the White House. Join me as we walk through the past to understand our president. Walk with me in the footsteps of Lincoln. No place captures the essence and even the presence of Abraham Lincoln better than Springfield, Illinois. Springfield is home to a significant number of historical destinations related to the life and legacy of America's greatest president. At the epicenter is the 200,000 square foot Lincoln Presidential Library and Museum. It's a magical journey through time filled with engaging exhibits and priceless artifacts we'll experience this remarkable complex and many of its world-class displays a bit later. But first, let's travel down the streets of Springfield to see where Lincoln lived, walked, worked, and was finally laid to his eternal rest. Abraham and Mary Todd Lincoln bought this home in Springfield, Illinois in 1844 for $1,200. They lived here for 17 years and in fact held farewell receptions before they went off to Washington, D.C. and the White House in 1861. It was here in the home's front parlor where the Lincolns would often receive visitors and guests. This room was the Lincolns' pride and joy as they spent a great deal of time selecting the items This is the Lincoln Herndon Law Office, where Abraham Lincoln practiced law from 1843 to 1852. It's also where he wrote his first inaugural address on the third floor of that law office building. Lincoln's political career and path to the presidency began here in Illinois when he won his first election as a state legislator in 1834. The old state capital here in Springfield was the seat of state government and a center of Illinois politics from 1839 to 1876. Here, Lincoln would conduct research for his speeches in the state library. He argued cases before the Illinois Supreme Court, and he would track election results in the Secretary of State's office. Lincoln served here during his last term in the Illinois House of Representatives, and this building shall always remain a critical piece of American history as the site where Lincoln delivered his famous House Divided speech in Representatives Hall in 1858. Lincoln's words, a house divided against itself cannot stand, still echo through the halls today. The building also served as a headquarters for Lincoln's 1860 presidential campaign. Even today, people continue to draw upon and honor the spirit of Lincoln here at the old state capitol. It was here that another future president announced his candidacy for the highest office in the land. Then Senator Barack Obama made his historic announcement in 2007. 
This is the Great Western Railroad Depot, built in 1852, but best known for a day on February 11, 1861, when Abraham Lincoln boarded a train here to leave Springfield, Illinois, and head to Washington, D.C. He gave his famous farewell address to his friends in Springfield, saying he did not know whether, if ever, he would return. Sadly, Lincoln's return to Springfield came only after his assassination in 1865. This tomb at Oak Ridge Cemetery in Springfield is the final resting place of Abraham Lincoln, his wife Mary, and three of their four sons. In September of 1868, sculptor Larkin Mead's design of the tomb was chosen from among 37 other sketches submitted. Construction totaled $171,000 for the tomb, and after five years of construction, the dedication ceremonies were held on October 15, 1874. The 117-foot tall tomb is constructed of Massachusetts granite. Meade created these monumental bronze military statues and the statue of Lincoln, which sit on the terrace. His design reflects Lincoln's successful efforts to preserve the Union. Symbolically, Lincoln is placed standing on the United States Constitution, which he used as the authority to employ military force to defend the Union. The military branches are represented by four heroic statues that stand at each corner of the terrace. Each depicts one of the fighting groups in the Civil War. Interior rooms of the tomb are finished in a highly polished marble that is trimmed in bronze. On April 19, 2005, the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library and Museum opened to the public in Springfield. The 200,000 square foot complex is twice the size of any other presidential library. The facility is designed not only to preserve and inform, but also to engage and immerse the public into its 21st century technology, interactive theaters, and world-class exhibits. At the center of the museum is the plaza, an open gathering place and central orientation point from which all the galleries and areas of the museum can be accessed. From the plaza, visitors are welcome to travel through the remarkable life and times of Abraham Lincoln from his early childhood through his presidency. Your journey begins as you enter Lincoln's childhood log cabin home. A young Lincoln sits nearby on a stump, deep in thought, with a book in his hand. 